Um, um, I, I believe as a farmer I'm responsible for three main things. One is producing food, um, secondly to enhance and protect our environment and thirdly to protect our sort of natural resources, air, soil and water. Most farmers take a really keen interest in all the wildlife on their farm. So here what we do is we'll work closely with organisations such as local wildlife groups and they're the experts who will tell us where our bird numbers are, try and monitor birds every four years so we get a, um, a really good idea on how our farming practices are positively affecting those bird numbers. So around about 8% of our farm is in some form of conservation management. It could be hedgerow management, it could be planting new hedges, it could be floristically enhanced margins, uh, it could be beetle banks, um, traditional hay meadows, or something as simple as this which is a skylark plot and we've got a hundred skylark plots dotted around different fields around the farm and what what that al allows the ground nesting birds is to have an area that they can sort of forage from and our skylark numbers over the last 10 years have, have uh, tripled in, in numbers which is fantastic. We have our greater spotted woodpeckers, we have our green woodpeckers, we have our skylarks on the outskirts of the woods, we have ground birds like um, partridge and quail and pheasant. You'll see hares, you'll you'll see the occasional muntjacks. Uh, we we cut, our, cut our hedges once every three years and that's done between September and the end of February before the birds start to nest. So what we'll often do is we'll cut one side of a hedge and leave the other side to grow so that there's plenty of habitat for the birds to still make their nests and insects and invertebrates and everything else that, that benefit from um, the hedgerows. The margins which are the bits that we have that we plant between the hedge and the crop are an excellent corridor for wildlife. They're a brilliant habitat for different types of mammal and birds and insects. When we first arrived here, we were dairy farmers and the policy in those days was that you farmed right to the edge of the field. And in this field, for example, which was an old traditional orchard, the trees were taken out so that we would have room to graze the cattle. And it's something that I've taken great joy and delight in over the last five or six years is to re-establish this orchard um, just to bring that sense of um, biodiversity back to the farm again um, and, and I think sometimes we it's communicated that farmers are destroying the countryside I actually think that we add in a lot back to the countryside and I'm really proud of this farm.